welcome everyone to our Build Your Future eLab uh, series and to the second webinar of this uh, Build Your Future eLabs. Um, my name is Jochen Schell and I'm the director of YEP Europe. Um, before introducing you to the today's speaker, I will tell you a little bit um, very shortly on uh, YEP Europe and uh, Build Your Future. Um, and I give you some technical details on how to um, use this uh, webinar. So YEP Europe basically is a, is a network, it's, a, it's at the center of a network of the YEP community network, which is a network of communities and organizations um, in Europe working with a youth and community empowerment approach. Um, we have an outreach um, uh, of um, close to 100 communities and in 14 countries in Europe. And Build Your Future was a project we uh, ran from 2015 to 2017. We um, basically piloted and uh, developed a course, an entrepreneurship, a social entrepreneurship course um, in seven countries in Europe. Um, and it was a course for uh, young people with few opportunities. And one important aspect of this uh, project was um, the uh, locally run entrepreneurship labs. And um, these labs were basically um, encounters of entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship experts um, with young people, where young people could uh, meet uh, them and could, could learn and get inspired by uh, entrepreneurs. And in a way, these uh, webinars we are running now are an extension of these entrepreneurship labs. So um, be prepared to uh, learn and get inspired by our uh, uh, great speakers. Um, some technical uh, things you have at the bottom or maybe for you at, as a participant at the top of the page you have some um, um, some options you can choose like raising hands you can you have a Q&A option where you can write questions uh, we'll invite you to do that at the end of the webinar where we have a 10 to 15 minutes uh, Q&A session and uh, very important you have a chat um, this will be a very interactive webinar um, where Helena uh, Havia, our speaker today, will um, engage with you and ask you uh, questions on a regular basis where you can use this chat um, to respond to her questions. Um, you cannot uh, put on your camera or speak, unfortunately. Um, this is the setting of this webinar, but uh, as I said, you can use the chat. We will also... Um, run some polls in between, some uh, very um, short questions where you can tick uh, and answer to these uh, polls. And uh, basically that is it. Um, maybe to um, uh, some words on the, um, on the webinar topics, uh, they have a didactic um, concept. So we had our first webinar um, several weeks ago with Johannes Lindner who, um, from Austria who talked about youth empowerment. Um, through entrepreneurship learning and today as you know we will talk about creativity techniques with uh, Helene Habilla from uh, Croatia and um, the next session will be on um, topics related to the market so we will look at uh, how to do market research, how to spot um, opportunities in the market, um, how to um, um, check if your idea uh, fits to a market etc. So um, Helena, Helena Bija is uh, Habija, sorry, is uh, our today's speaker, and we are very excited. Here she is. Hello, Hi. Helena. Um, very shortly uh, to um, uh, Helena, uh, she's actually um, a teacher, so she has a uh, lot of uh, knowledge about uh, pedagogy and training people. But for the last um, uh, years she's actually uh, become she has become an entrepreneurship expert she's an entrepreneurship um, trainer and mentor for for startups she works for um, a partner organization uh, of yep europe which is uh, um, youth bank international and she works also as a um, community and portfolio manager at dot forge in manchester in the uk that's where she's based now and um, uh, works for this uh, accelerator for startups, um, and they are all startups in uh, the tech for good uh, field. Um, 
please correct me if I did say anything wrong, Helena, or if I forget forgot something. Um, and uh, I leave the floor to you now. And um, as I said, we're very happy to have you today. And please start. Okay. Um, thank you uh, for a really nice introduction. Um, I would add that I am also working with Youth Bank International as um, 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 helping with uh, with management and delivering um, uh, different parts of uh, the community and the idea into uh, new networks. Um, and it's also about um, uh, doing some entrepreneurship training and uh, helping young people to become decision makers and take things into their ha hand and helping with social entrepreneurship in that part. Um, Thank you really uh, a lot for that um, introduction. Uh, what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to be talking about um, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, creative techniques. And we're going to be exploring them. Um, at the beginning, um, you found out uh, something about me, and I would really want to find out something about you. Please use the chat on the side um, and take your time uh, to. Um, think about uh, some things that um, are going to go into next couple of slides. Just a second to actually get there. Um, Sorry for that. I think I actually managed to lose my presentation. I would, uh, can we just, yeah, uh, right. yeah. yeah, I managed to turn off my presentation. Don't uh, worry about it. Um, you, you, we leave you the time to look for it. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, okay. don't worry. It makes it all more real anyway, right? More yes. authentic, <laughs> right? Definitely. <laughs> uh, definitely. Yeah, here it is. Present. Okay. Um, I hope that you can see my screen now, the right screen with the presentation. Not yet. So share screen and then. Yes, um, just a second. Um, a bit of. Okay. Are you able to see my screen now? Nope. But Is maybe you wanted to ask a first question. Yeah, I actually okay. wanted to and ask you. can you still all. try to, to share the screen and show the presentation. Yeah, I wanted to ask you all to think about things that really matter to you and the things that you like to do, like any kind of activities that make you uh, want to wake up in the morning. Uh, what are the things that uh, you really like doing that your months, your days, your years would be empty without? Are there any hobbies, any interests that you have that you really like to do? What are the activities that drive you? Is it maybe writing? Is it art? Is it... Um, is it maybe uh, spending time with your friends? What really makes you happy? Uh, please think about it and think about 10 things in your life that really make you happy and make you wake up in the morning every single day. I'm gonna leave you like two to three minutes to think about that. And we write it in the chat. Yes, right? please. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I think 
three or five is also good. Yes. Here we go. We can see your screen. Perfect. And it's not the presentation, I know, but it's okay now. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Uh, yeah, please add the things that you thought about in the chat when you're ready. We have singing, music, sports, reading, laughing. Family, nice. Long walks, really good. Amazing, making a difference to young people's lives. Being with friends, dancing, helping people, listening music. Family, friends, horses, bikes, nature, learning, reading, writing shooting videos, working with youngsters, my cat, traveling, walking at the seaside, being with friends, art, reading, anything that comes into your mind that makes you happy and makes you wake up in the morning. Anything that you plan on doing all weekends when you have more time, when you don't have to work or um, go to school or do some other uh, usual things. Anything that is really your passion, your hobby, um, traveling, discovering new things and new places. Sunshine, beach cleaning, reading, love dancing, funk too. Think about things that motivate you, um, things that you really like to do with friends or on your own, um, things that you would say like, I really enjoy doing this. Even if you did it once, one time in your life, try to think about what it was, what made you so happy and wanted to do it again. Making pictures, running, spending time with family, reading, traveling, my dogs. What else? Think about what else can you think about? Maybe two, three, four things. Even even if it's like watching documentaries, maybe it's 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 actually just um, sitting down and relaxing. Maybe daydreaming. Maybe. Um, walking in the park um maybe you are interested in doing maths on your spare time maybe you're in love with that maybe drawing um I, I also know that people like cooking maybe cleaning maybe that relaxes you think about things that relax you teaching kids about the environment using creativity and recycling materials um Daydreaming, amazing. Sky gazing, oh, that's really nice. Do you have any hobbies? Do you have any activities that you really like to do? Maybe you go to the gym three times a week. Maybe you do yoga. Maybe um, do you like driving car? Like maybe ride, like riding a bike and seeing the landscapes. Um,
anything else that you can think of. You probably did think about more than a couple of things or five, six, seven things that you wrote here. Can you think about what are the three things you really enjoy um, working on and doing? What are the three things that you enjoy the most? From all those things that you thought about, pick three that you really enjoy the most. Oh, learning something new, that's really nice. Think about three things. Volunteering, really good. So think about a take from those 10, three that you really enjoy the most, that you cannot imagine your life without that you would feel empty in your life without doing that. We have Teddy from Johan, shooting photos, playing with the kids and listening to music. Reading, music playing with my child, really nice. From Alexandra. Reading comic books, going to the movies, writing. Really good. Time with family, helping others, learning new things. Ride horses and bikes and traveling. Walking along to the seaside, traveling, being with friends. Sports, windsurfing and skiing, family and travels. Traveling, being with my friends and helping others. Creating music, writing and drinking coffee. Yeah, nice. I, I definitely could find myself in those, those all of those things, bits and pieces here and bits and pieces there. Anyone else? Cre creating, listening to people and traveling. I also like listening to people. Really, really nice choice. Um, next step is to pick up one thing that you would take from all those 10 or three things that you really enjoy the most, that is your, that you can say like, this is my passion. This is what I really like to do. Traveling. Pick up that one passion that you really, really, really like to do. Imagine what would you do if you never have to work, had to work or go to school or do anything else in your life? How would you spend that time instead of working, instead of what you're doing that now? What is the one thing that you want to do actually? A lot of traveling. Creating, writing music, that one thing that you could see yourself doing for the rest of your life and never get bored and really enjoy it. Photography while traveling, really nice, traveling. What else? If you still didn't pick up your one thing, think about what can you imagine yourself doing for the rest of your life? Making a difference to others, really nice. Again, traveling. Creating sculpture and recycling fashion, really interesting. So what are we going to do today is actually explore what can you do about that? What can you do about that passion, that thing that drives you to make it something that you will be able to do your whole life and enjoy your whole life? 
uh, we're going to start with a bit of panel. Um, I would like to uh, find out if you consider yourself creative. Uh, there is a um, you can see your um, in your um, that you can raise hands. And uh, can you please raise hands if you consider yourself create creative? We currently have five out of fourteen. Seven, eight, nine. So we can say that nine out of 14 attendees to this webinar consider themselves creative. Um, what is creativity for you? Think about and write into the chat anything that comes into your mind when I say the word creativity. Anything. It can be anything that comes into your mind. If, if, if I say creativity and what comes into your mind is grass, write grass. Or if I say creativity, it comes into your mind, red color, write red. Write as many as you can. Finding new ways to do things. Exploring, innovating. New unexplored ideas. Thinking out of the box, new solutions. What else? Find solution, innovate. Alternative ways of engaging people, making the boring exciting, really good. What else? Anything you think about. Focusing on knowledge and methods to bring out something new. Shaping one's environment, to think out of the box, doing things with enthusiasm. Really good. What else? Anything that comes into your mind. What can else can it be? Do you think about art? Do you think about music? Do you think about the usual things? Do you think creativity is needed in any kind of work, any kind of business? What else? What else do you think about when you think about creativity? Adding color and sparkle, finding the magic, any kind of work. Good. Anything else? Do you, can you go any specific than that? Can you think about um, any action, any, any, any moment where you felt creative and you saw someone doing something creative? Looking for a new way to do stuff, right? to do things. Okay, so uh, creativity is something that um, you heard a lot about. It's something that a lot of people talk about. It's really uh, something that a lot of people mention. Um, it's a concept uh, which we often uh, come across in our everyday conversation. We hear about creative people, creative jobs, uh, my creative objects like sculptures, paintings, photography, or read creative books. Um, but yet of that, we don't all consider ourselves creative. There's a type of people that you right away will say like they're creative. Um, you can see like musicians, dancers, um, artists, photographers, um, writers. They're all creative um, things that you can do creatively in your life. And this is jobs that people have as a creative life, creative in their life. But uh, the thing is, we are all creative. Um, the pool that you did and raising hands saying that, are you consider yourself creative or not? Um, let's say uh, nine out of 14, what is it? 30%, 60% of you think that 
their creative and uh, let's say 25 to 30% don't. Um, the usual thing is that people think that creativity is not something that everyone has. Uh, scientists prove wrong, so prove that wrong. So creativity is something that everyone has. Uh, this is um, uh, something that um, everyone can be creative. Some of us have that ability. Um, it comes to us easier than to others and to some that it doesn't. So what is creativity? From the dictionary and from Google and Oxford Dictionary, uh, creativity is the use of imagination uh, or, or original ideas to create something, um, inventiveness. Uh, creativity is the ability to produce original and unusual ideas or to make something new or imaginative. I think you all um, got that right when you were saying uh, what is creativity for you. Um, some people, either business-wise or uh, in art world, um, had their opinion on creativity. Steve Jobs, uh, which you know um, um, is a um, uh, guy that did um, Apple and is behind everything that, um, said creativity is just connecting things. Um, when you ask creative people how they did something, they feel a little guilty because they didn't really do it. The, they just saw something, it seemed obvious to them after a while. Um, uh, Jack London says, you can't wait for inspiration. You have to go after it and uh, with a club. So this is what we're gonna do today actually. Albert Einstein says, creativity is seeing what others see and thinking what no one else has ever thought. So if you see that some of the creatives, but also scientists said what creativity is. We're gonna talk about today thinking um, outside of boss, box, which is actually like creative thinking. We're gonna explore creative thinking techniques. Creative thinking means um, thinking about new things or thinking in new ways. It's thinking outside of box. Someone already mentioned that. Um, some people are actually naturally more creative than others, but creative think thinking can be um, practiced. You can work on that. Uh, you can work on it using creative techniques. Uh, creative techniques are actually a set of te te techniques that uh, help you uh, think about more about some ideas and help you uh, be more creative. We're gonna go through some of them today. Uh, some of them are mind mapping, brainstorming, uh, visualization. You will see a lot of visual input in this presentation because I really wanted to inspire you with photos and visuals uh, to get you thinking in a different way. Also, uh, we have storyboarding. There are many, many others. Uh, we're going to go through a couple of them today. Uh, first of them, um, it's going to be force relationship. So your assignment today um, is, so first, both relationships, the joining of totally different ideas to come up with a fresh idea. Your assignment now is to put in a chat first only one word that comes into your mind when you see this photo. Cranes. First thing, Okay, nice. Just one, each of you just one, just one word. First word that comes into your mind. Remember that word. Have a look at this photo. Think about first word that comes into your mind and write it down. Just one, when you see this photo, what comes to into your mind, which word? One word, 
anything that comes into your mind. No feeling really nice. Drop, drops, fresh, summer, splash. What else? What else? Okay. One word. Your assignment today is going to be taking one word that you thought about when you saw the first photo and taking another word when you uh, thought about um, thinking about the second photo. So let's say um, Adele had fresh and the first one was, um, just to find, Going through the chat. Can't find it now, but I'm going to then say for Tanya. Tanya had um, photography and bridge. Um, Tanya, think about the idea that's named with two words photography and bridge, and think about the idea for the business that will enable you to put your passion that you really like to do in your life into action. Think about what can be connected with bridge and photography to tackle your passion and enable, enable you to do this your whole life. Think about the idea that connects photography, bridge, and your passion. Everyone has the same um, assignment. So you need to think about those two words that you were prompted to think about when you saw the photos. They're completely different. They're not connected to anything. Think about those two words and think about how can you think about the idea that can enable you to work on your passion, whatever it is. Is it traveling? Is it photography or anything else? So connect those two words. Connect for Tanya, connect photography and bridge, and think about how can you think about idea that is connected to your passion and that can enable you to do that more. Think about that and please uh, write down some of the ideas that you have. Maybe Tanya, you can um, make a photography bridge, a company that um, connects um, drinking coffee on unusual places and taking photography while doing this, bridging photography and your passion for drinking coffee. Or maybe taking a set of photography, a book, a set of photos that, um, can picture you drinking coffee on different bridges. Uh, maybe that can be a business. Maybe you can do a book out of it. Oh, amazing, Tanya. Playing music on the bridges all over the world and making a photo book out of it. 
I think it's a quite business idea. Maybe people can collaborate on this. Maybe you can engage more people to do that. Maybe you can make a movement out of it. Alexandra, healthy colored water for kids instead of juice full of sugar. Alexandra, I think you're up to something. Really good idea. Anyone else? We have cranes plus water equals a mobile showers like Dixie toilets for crane constructors and constructions workers. So they can shower after working on the construction site before going home after work where they can go straight, freshly showered to the bar or restaurant. Really good. I like it. I think that's definitely need. Uh, definitely doing some custom, worth doing some customer research. Um, Alessio, Color Drops, a series of free educational books, just illustrations, no words for children. Really nice. Anyone else? Ship Trip in the Rain. <laughs> really, really amazing. I, I think you already, um, Magena, I think you already have a tagline for your business. Anyone else? Maybe another one. If you're already done with your first idea, maybe you can have another one. You can actually have five, 10, 15, 20 ideas. Um, put them all together and then validate. Think about which one um, is actually worth doing and put others on the shelf, uh, maybe for use on some other time. While you think about your ideas, um, fresh chaos, pop-up consultancy sessions with voluntary and community sector to shake up their thinking and get them on a roadmap of improving their services. Really good. Um, I think a lot of um, um, a lot of people do need. Um, a, we all need advice, um, especially when you work in uh, voluntary and community sector, and where it's really important to do your services right and to adapt to um, needs of the people you're working with. Um, you actually also need a bit of motivation, um, a bit of guidance. Really good, Adele. Um, we're gonna start to go on the designing colorful iced lollipops with sea animal shapes to teach kids about the ocean beauty in workshops and the beach in summertime. I think it's, this is amazing. I think we got some really, really creative ideas. Just in a in, in matter of five minutes, went from having two words and your passion and doing something about it. Next creative technique we're gonna do is reverse thinking. So, Instead of adopting to the logical, normal manner of looking at uh, a problem or a challenge, uh, you're gonna do something reverse. So if I say like, I wanna make uh, 1,000 lollipops with um, 10 sea world animals to teach kids, and I wanna sell them all uh, by using social media, is actually saying, I want to create 1,000 lollipops uh, with um, 10 uh, animals, see, animals to teach kids how to do it, but actually I just want to leave them in a museum and not sell either one of them or give out neither one of them. So actually doing something reverse. If we think of this photo, what do you, um, what does it remind you of? What do you see? Can you please write in the chat box? What do you see on this photo? Okay, litter, wasted flyers, trash and cigarettes, flyers. What else? Think about it a bit deeper, like 
are the things in the in um in trash actually belonging there materials to reuse what do you see when you when you see this photo recycling lack of awareness how to separate garbage great What else? Any others? So what would you do about this? What would you do? do would, you, would you raise awareness? Wasted money in pe uh, paper and pliers nobody reads. The, the normal thing what you would do is probably like raise awareness about uh, separating and recycling that some things are trash and some things actually go to reusable materials, uh, which is already done on posters, on different campaigns, on social media, in schools and everything else. Sometimes it doesn't work. Not every th everything works really well and not everything works and comes to the right persons that do that because we still have cases of recycling material ending up in a trash. So if you think about it, uh, if we do a reverse um, thinking, think about not what would you do to stop people doing this, but think about what would you do to actually get more people not recycling. Think about what is the action that you would do to make people not recycle, but put everything in the trash. Any ideas, please write them down. any fun it can be fun completely fun unusual what would you do to make people put more flyers here oh basket like competition of drawing litter amazing what else some fun thing how would you engage people to stop recycling one bin all of your garbage advertisement okay good what would you do to do it Anything, anything that comes into your mind. Think about yourself. Have bins all the same color, okay? What else? Anything. What would you do to encourage people not to recycle? Produce more useless printing material. Okay, what else? What could be something engaging? Price for the untidiest town. Amazing. What else? Say, don't worry about the environment you're gonna die soon anyway <laughs> really good what else come on think about something it's easy it's not doing something good so you can be relaxed it doesn't it's not gonna influence anyone you can be completely relaxed you can put anything you want here say don't worry about, okay Another one? Maybe something else? Did you find it? Uh, can I have a raise of hands um, just to ask if you found, find it more um, easier to produce ideas that are negative than ideas that are positive? Who thinks it was easier to produce negative ideas than positive ideas? Not easier, nothing meaningful, but actually like, did you feel relaxed to do it or not?
was it easier to produce the idea that is not doesn't have an emission it's it's actually like nothing that you know it's not going to happen or anything else was it easier to do that we have three out of 12 saying that it was easier to produce negative ideas than positives um encourage smoking make littering a cool thing the more you throw on the floor the cooler you are really 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 amazing ideas when you think about let's reverse that um encourage smoking we could reverse into uh, encourage people to stop smoking make littering a cool thing the more you throw on the floor the cooler you are uh if we reverse that it would be make littering um make recycling a cool thing the more you recycle on the floor the cooler you are the more you recycle the cooler you are um maybe then um say worry about environment uh you need to save it for uh, new generations uh price for the untidiest town i really do hope when, when i think about that um that idea um i do think that people in the untidiest town would maybe after doing something negative like this realize that they are not happy living in an untidy town and actually maybe work from that but maybe a price for a tidiest town produce more useless printing material stop producing useless printing material and save trees have bins all the same color recycle with the different color bins maybe put more bins around with a different color um, the same thing with one bin, all of your garbage. A basket-like competition of throwing litter. Maybe a basket-like competition of separating uh, litter into recyclable and not recyclable things. So all those ideas can be uh, reversed. And this was um, the reverse thinking technique. Uh, what can be done here, you can go more into doing negative things and getting more and more ideas. And from those ideas, reversing them into something positive. Uh, we're going to end up soon. Um, so the last thing is how to overcome creative, um, um, creative um, when you have like creative block. Um, I'm going to go really quickly to it and through it. And then we're going to go through um, to questions. Uh, dream daydreaming is actually a creative technique think about things you want to do you wish to do uh, take your time uh, and just daydream um, create um, draw doodle play music write sing even if you're not good at that create something build um, I don't know a castle in the sand um, a work on something in your um, house or flat, uh, repair something, but create. Dance, relax by dancing. Play music or listen to the music. Take a walk. Travel, read a book. Talk with friends. Um, and at the, the, almost at the end, I'm gonna say, uh, you can't use up creativity. The more you use it, the more you have it. It's like, a lot of things in your life, the more you do them, you want to do them more. It's the same thing with creativity. Uh, when it comes to um, the creative techniques we went through, uh, we went through brainstorming, actually brain writing, because you were writing when you were doing, uh, talk about creativity. Uh, and um, when you ask, answer the question, what is creativity, you were actually brain writing, and this is a creative techniques. We did uh, reverse thinking. Uh, we did... Um, putting together two um, unconnected words. And the uh, uh, fourth one, we did visualization because there were a lot of photos and everything that um, engaged you in thinking in a different way. Um, please, if you have any questions, uh, put them in the chat. We have like five to seven minutes to questions. Anything that you would, um, that's left unanswered? Anything that you, any questions that might have been prompted by this presentation or this webinar?
how to make sure these creative ideas have a business potential. So not all of your ideas are gonna have business potential. What we did now, it was like, let's say 45 minute presentation, and you already created some of your ideas. Um, you managed to say like, this is my passion, and this is what I would like to do, even if it's um, every day in my life, or maybe two days a week, or once a month, this is what I wanna do. So when you think about ideas that's gonna um, come from that, from your interest and from your passion, and believe me, a lot of amazing businesses, a lot of amazing ideas and amazing solutions came from people's interest and their passions. Um, you're gonna probably have like five, 10, 15 ideas. You first pick up one that you like the most, that you think like it has the best potential. Uh, how to secure it? Uh, you will probably ask people around you uh, about the problems they have, about the problem that you're solving. So let's say if you're solving, um, if you want to uh, get more kids, in, more kids involved into um, uh, Sea World and everything else, uh, you may talk to them and ask them like. Would you like to know something more about it? Do you know about these animals? Uh, do you know who lives in the sea? Um, do you like to swim in the sea? Something like uh, strange and something like usual questions around that and talk to them because they will be your users. They will be your, um, your users and uh, they will be the ones that um, might buy your things or your idea can work on. So it would be good to validate the idea. And the, to validate the idea means talking to customers. Um, first, you need to know who is your customer. If you're doing lollipops, um, your customer and users will be the kids, but you're probably gonna have uh, people that are gonna buy that for kids and they're gonna be their parents. So they really think about, are parents really interested in, in um, buying something that, will not only be something nice for the kids but something that their kids could learn from would they pay for it how much would they pay and everything else so validation is the second step in talking knowing your customer and talking to your customer it's a really um it really takes a lot um it takes so little time to generate idea but to go from generation of the idea and making that idea into potential and actually the opportunity to become a business, it's a really long, long cycle. How to deal with an idea which everybody doubts about, negative feedback, this will never work, but deep inside of you, um, you know this has potential, you're con convinced and can see this is a great idea that can work. Um, and most of it depends on your motivation. Um, I would say like, there are, two, there are two points. When it comes to the first one is, if you validate your idea at your, and your customers say that they wouldn't use it or anything else, ask them why. Validate and think about how can you change and shift and pivot your idea to become something that they will use, but still stays something that you really want to work on. Uh, you're actually building something for them. They're gonna be your users. So try working with them what needs to happen for them to use this idea and to use this product and to solve this problem, if you saw the problem in that. On the other side, um, some people, I there are a lot of businesses that had that kind of feedback. This will never work, but everything else, but had motivation behind it. You believed in it. Um, this can especially be, you can see this in, um, in a lot of businesses when you think about 90% of ideas um, don't become businesses. Um, a lot of startups um, don't end up building business about it. But uh, when it comes to the passion and motivation, uh, if you're doing something that's really close to your heart, uh, you're gonna have the, um, you're actually gonna have the motivation to to work on it for a longer time. You're gonna have the motivation to deal with the negative feedback. You're gonna have the motivation to to deal with all the 
things that could go wrong and actually at the end build something that's worth uh, and build the business to build something that's worth uh, your customers to use this. So it is a lot about motivation. So if you're business building something close to your heart, if you know it's the right thing and you will not stop doing it, um, that really also means a lot. But be really open to customer feedback and be really open to changing bits and pieces of your idea and thinking and adapting it to the customer's needs. needs. Any other questions? How can I be creative at work? So I actually had a, had a slide on this. Um, and um, when you think about being creative at work, um, you actually are creative every single day. Uh, when you think about, oh, I need to produce an email and, and send it to someone else. Maybe I should do a different um, title. Maybe I should do uh, a different um, style of writing. You're actually being creative. If you need to um, uh, set an event or organize an event, that is a creative thing. To be creative at work is actually, again, uh, being influenced by the environment, being influenced by yourself, and being motivated by yourself. Maybe put on some music if you have, if you can, if music makes you. Creative. Maybe before you go to work, uh, when commuting, uh, read a story or um, a couple of um, uh, pages of a book that you really like. Uh, maybe uh, in the in the lunch break, go for a walk and think, I'm like, okay, um, this is my goals for the day. How can I do things differently? And just try it out. I think a lot of it about creativity is not being afraid and actually overthinking things. So try maybe not overthinking and just doing the first thing that comes into your mind. That sometimes really help. And if it helps to, like I know that some people like on their desk creative, uh, creative things, so maybe a lot of colors or anything else. But yeah, make your office something that you really feel productive in, something that you feel you feel creative for work in. And actually always, in my opinion, bounce off your ideas with your coworkers. I think that interaction really helps in validating. Even if you think it's the stupidest idea ever, but you actually thought about it, just go for it. Bounce it off, talk to your colleagues and see what they think. You might be surprised. Okay, I think we're out of time. Yeah, I would, I would like to end uh, with actually the last slide uh, that says creativity is contagious, pass it on. So do you think, Alexandra, if you like, it, it goes for everyone, but when you're connected with the last question, um, um, be creative and you're gonna, it's gonna become contagious. Your whole office is gonna become creative and it's gonna be a really creative environment to work in. And that goes for everyone else. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, uh, Helena. Um, this was uh, very interesting and unfortunately, again, uh, too short. Um, uh, these uh, webinars only last an hour, but um, I think we all learned a lot, got inspired. And uh, of course, we... Um, uh, can uh, and should all go deeper by looking uh, these techniques up. There's so much uh, material on this uh, on the internet, um, and um, so so do so if you feel like it. And I hope you got more um, ideas and more uh, techniques uh, to be creative. I would like to thank you very much, Helena. It has been um, great uh, sharing your wisdom. Uh, with us has uh, helped us a lot. I hope also to um, also the um, participants and um, the next webinar will not be in December. We're going to skip December. We have uh, our next webinar in January. And as I said in the beginning, we um, will look at, uh, at the market, uh, how to do market research, um, how to spot uh, opportunities or niches in the market. 
and um, so I thank you all for participating. Uh, if you like this, um, uh, please share, come uh, again in January. Um, if you don't like it, uh, for some reason, also tell us. Uh, we are very open to um, feedback and uh, to improve this uh, format and uh, this initiative further. Um, so, and I leave you right now. Uh, thank you uh, very much for being with us. and. Um, Thank you, uh, Helena. Here are also the links, as you can see on the on the uh, uh, slide, uh, the links to our website and um, Facebook pages. And uh, this webinar has been recorded and will be also shared on our uh, social media, uh, which you then again can also share uh, if you wish. So thank you very much and goodbye for now and take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Ciao.